Hey guys, it's Rogaway here and it's time for another tutorial. And today we are looking at how to add sound effects to our animate files. Um, I'm going to do this in a very simple explanation, hopefully, anyways. Um, I've got a file that I built here and um, just simply drew a gun. Alright, and a gun makes a loud noise, so I thought it would be a good... Um, sample here for our example that I want to show. Um, <clears throat> so, just using the brush tool or whatever, make a simple gun. I'm going to fill it in with some gray here, just so it looks a little more finished off. <clears throat> it's important that you fill your shape in for this one for it to work if you are following along exactly in uh, in this tutorial here. Okay, so we got a very simple gun looking shape and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this object and I'm going to convert it to a symbol. So I'm going to select it all, modify, convert to symbol and I'm going to make it a movie clip or a graphic, either or. I'm going to go with graphic and I'm going to call it gun. Okay, there we go. So we've got this symbol for the gun now. And uh, we're going to zoom in, whoops, I went a little too close there. We're going to zoom in on the end of the gun. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a bullet type shape with the brush tool. And I want to make sure that it fits within the chamber of the gun that we are working with here. So whoop, about there, something like that. Put a little bit of details on it, nothing major. And actually, you know what? I think the outline should be black, not gray. Okay. And I'm going to just fill that with a gray as well. Now, this is, oops, this is not important to the actual making of, or sorry, doing sound effects but we need to have something that's going to uh, need a sound effect so I'm gonna select this shape and I'm gonna convert it to a symbol and I'm gonna call it bullet <clears throat> there we go okay so we got a gun we got a bullet and it would make a lot of sense I think for me to cut this bullet shape out I'm gonna cut it edit cut I'm gonna make a layer for it I'm going to call it bullet and I'm just going to paste it in place on that layer. Okay, so layer one is our gun, layer two is our bullet and I'm going to lock the gun. I'm actually going to first of all drag the bullet to where it should start, even though it's on top of the gun, that's okay, we'll fix that after. Have it start about there. Obviously, this bullet's way too big for this gun. And then I'm going to go to uh, frame 24. It'll take one second. Insert a keyframe. And insert a keyframe on the gun layer as well. And I'm going to just move the bullet off, oops, off the page. I'm holding shift while I'm doing that so it moves in a straight line. And then I'm going to put a tween in between. Okay? Boom. Now all I got to do is drag the bullet layer below the gun layer. And I've got a gun shooting a bullet. Let's just test that. Make sure it looks good. Oh, it's such a slow, <laughs> such a slow moving bullet. I'm going to take out some frames in here so we can speed it up a bit. I'm just going to remove a bunch from the middle here. There you go. And now it's going to be a heck of a lot faster. Bang, 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 bang. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we've got a bullet traveling across the page from the gun, but we have no sound. And like I said, it's kind of weird to have a gun that's shooting a, sh a bullet and to have no sound with it. So there are a multitude of sites that you can use for this. And I'm going to just show you one that I use quite a bit, but I think if you Google... Uh, free sound effects or sound loops or whatever you should be able to find 
a site that has sound effects. Um, before we start that, we're going to make a new layer. We're going to call it sound effects. Oops. And I like to keep all my sound at the very bottom. That's just a habit I've always gotten into. Sound effects at the very bottom. Okay, so we're going to jump to a browser. And I'm in Chrome right now, and I'm going to look for sound effects. Now, the one I'm going to use is Sound Bible. Soundbible.com. And this is a really great site. I hope it's around for a while. Um, and I, in this little search bar here, I can search for sound. So I'm going to search for gunshot. Or even just, yeah, just gun. Now you'll notice, and I don't know how well this is going to show because it's hard for me to record my voice and to record sound from the computer, but I can click the little play button here. Hopefully you can hear that. I'm going to make it louder. Wow. That's a loud one. Okay, let's say I like that one. Or even something like that. Okay. Whatever I decide is the is the shot the gunshot sound that I like. Let's say it's this one. I'm gonna click it. And it gives me an option here. Of, wow, that's so loud. Uh, it gives me an option whether to download it as a wave or as an MP3. And it's weird, and maybe somebody can comment below on what they found about this. But I find sometimes waves work and sometimes MP3s work. So. I'll just download a wave to start and we'll see if it goes. Okay, so it downloads. And then in order to get it into our animate file, we simply click the sound effects layer and the first keyframe. Now let's say we wanted the sound to start way over here. We would just insert a blank keyframe and put the sound effect into there. But we're gonna have it at the start, okay? So here is where we want the sound effect. We're going to go File, Import to Library. Okay, I'm going to bring it into my library. Here we go. I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to find that WAV file. Okay, there it is, and I'm going to open it. Now let's see if it worked. In my library, there it is. Okay, we got a sound effect that is in our library. We could actually play it. It's going to be loud. But uh, there's the sound effect. Now, in order for this to work in our animation, we simply drag it to the stage, like so. And now you'll see that the sound effect is in that layer. We can tell because the wave that is there. Okay, let's test it. It's going to be loud. And it works perfectly. Okay. So that's how you add sound effects. You can also do the same thing with music if you choose to. Um, if you uh, want to put those into your animations, obviously it's going to make it more realistic. Uh, so I recommend that you put sound effects in, and music into your, uh, your animations. Um, and that's all there is to it. Uh, one drawback, I find anyways, that um, Animate has is that you can't edit the sound effect. Uh, at least I haven't found a way. Um, you can't seem to trim it down or cut it to make it smaller or whatever. Uh, so you're kind of limited that way. The sound effect has to come in and be basically ready to use right away. Anyways, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'd like to see you use this in your projects. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.